Um, I'm going to talk today about the the uh, video that my students submitted this year. Uh, so the task was to make a one minute movie about Alan Turing. Um, there were four students that did it in a group. Uh, we used Blender Portable. It was great because last year they didn't allow Blender to be used at all. It was all 2D. So this year we went 3D. Um, and the Blender Cookie website, so they were teaching themselves a lot about uh, how to do 3D animation. They, they, didn't, they had no background in it before, before they spent about two and a half months and um, weekly meetings. They came on every, every Wednesday afternoon and they made a movie. So just to uh, be a bit boring, I'm going to play you a video. There's no sound, so um, I'll probably talk over it. <laughs> and we had some help from Queen Mary's University in London because uh, my computers weren't fast enough. So they were doing some of the processing for us. So um, where are we? This is the movie that my sixth form students, there were, I say, four of them, one A two three A S, and it's it's called Turing. Um, so just imagine the music that's going with this at the moment. Uh, is this going to work? Yes. So it's all about the life and the works of Alan Turing. That's obviously uh, we're in his room. Here's the design for the first computer, the Turing machine, kind of. Um, so they they were playing around with different animation techniques, different lighting effects, and um, so they were all given a scene to make. So this one here, obviously, you have to get computer games in there because Alan Turing was responsible for computer games. Um, and you think it's 2D, but it's actually 3D as we fly through. And anybody guess what this is? Any guesses? That's the internet, of course. <laughs> Okay, but I'm really, really impressed with this one because they, they'd actually rigged up a full robot running. Okay, so fully all the bones and all that sort of stuff um, and falls down. So Turing was obviously interested in AI there. So we're back in the original room and um, so it's about the life and the works of Alan Turing. And uh, if you're familiar with Turing's story, you know the story about uh, the tragic story about the apple. Okay, so that's the movie that they made. Um, two and a half months they made it and... Um, where are we? There we are. So, um, what did I learn? Well, number one, I learned that they won. They've won something. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. We've got to go and we've got to, got to go to Manchester, um, which I'm really not looking forward to. I'm at, I'm at Sixth Form College. My term finishes before this event happens. So I have to go in my holidays and take them to this event, which is a little bit annoying. But um, we've won something, which is fantastic. Um, you don't need to wait until you need to learn 3D. Um, one of the great things about computing, and I'm sure the university people here uh, agree, if you expose students to computing, then they're not going to make the wrong choice about university subjects. If you expose students to 3D animation and they like it, they're going to become 3D animators, right? Uh, if they don't like it, they're not going to make that mistake. Um, so some of these kids are now going, yeah, this is really, really what I want to go and do with my life. And they're, they're reading books, they're reading websites, and they're making lots more stuff. Um, so I learned that um, as we teach ourselves. We, we learn this almost every day. Teach, you know, kids pick stuff up that you just like, wow, I can't believe they're learning this stuff. So they are way, way better than me now. Um, I need, really need to buy a render farm. Right? Um, and uh, I know Bill's here in the audience. I've, I've applied for the budget, you know, that, that prize to, to win all that money to go and buy my own render farm with the BCS competition. Um, and, uh, well... I would love to have access to maybe a, like a school-level render farm that schools could upload 3D movies. That would be awesome, right? Because um, some of these things took my computer like, two days to render. <laughs> it was insane. The, the, the internet thing with the glass, absolute madness. Um, however, it's not all fun and games. Um, they've done amazingly well. They've won something. They've won some money. We're going to go to an event. We may have won like the big prize. Who knows? But I, I want to take them a bit further than this. I can't take them any further. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay? I can't find them any internships this summer. So they're going to sit around at home. They may do a bit of 3D animation, but what are they going to do with their summer? Probably not much in the way of academic stuff. Um, so I've learned that, and I'm trying to fix that at the moment. So if there are anybody, anybody here who wants to offer me some four internship positions for the summer, please have a chat with me. Um, and I've also learned that teaching knowledge is key. Um, so, and this is very important with computing. I don't know what I'm doing with 3D animation. Those students, though, they taught themselves an awful lot, but there were, there were situations that I had to get my friend in from Queen Mary University, who was an absolute expert with Blender, to come and answer these questions for them. They, they, so these were, you know, big problems that I certainly couldn't solve, they couldn't solve. 
Um, and I think this is, this is a big problem faced by all of us. With computing, we have to be able to field these questions. And if we can't, um, we're in trouble. OK, so that's it. Thank you.